Hello beautiful people, in this video I will tell you some tips you can use to write a technical blog and if you haven't write any technical blog till now then this video is completely for you. You can take some advice from me and apply them and you can write your first technical blog and I will be happy if you write your blog from this video and if you do then you can tag me on twitter i will be so happy to see that and if you are afraid of writing a technical blog then don't be afraid it's not a big thing to write to start writing a technical blog many of your friends are already writing and they are doing many great things and they are they are learning so much from that so how you can start your journey in technical blog this video is completely for you so if you haven't seen my face ever i am seema saharan aka bash woman and i am making some technical videos for you all and you can suggest me any video if you want me to create so yeah you can subscribe to my channel too if you like my videos so let's start discussing why should you write technical blogs so the first thing that i want to include is it's the best way to keep learning okay and whatever you learn just share with your contacts or network okay let's suppose you learn some python modules or some javascript framework for the first time right and if you learn something for the very first time it will be very difficult for you to remember all the things at the same time so technical blogs will help you to remember all those things that you learned whatever you learn just share your knowledge with others so that you can first thing you will get so much to learn and the second thing if you write what you learned then it will be the second best thing because you will able you will be able to remember all the things by your own and if you teach someone then some feedback will always be there and they will tell you that this thing is not working in my system so can you help me so you will be able to help them and after helping your technical skills will automatically improve that's how i do so whenever i learn something i create a video okay in this channel or i write some blogs you will be surprised that my first technical blog was written this year and it was uh, the number blog number one blog in that category and you can check that blog i will link down in the description box and you will get some ideas how you can approach your learnings and you can share them with your friends okay number two is that it will be a journal of your own learnings we uh, like in movies we see that dear diary today this happened this happened this happened okay what if you write you start writing your own technical journal okay and this will be a great thing to start your technical blog and don't afraid of writing some blog if it's not good then it's okay first blog is not good yeah and if it's bad then it will be a learning for you okay many people will help you that this thing can be improved this thing can be improved and it will eventually create a writer okay technical writer number three is reach thousands of people across the world there are many platforms that where you can share your technical blogs and many people are really interested to read them and learn about new technical things and some of them are hashnode dave2 and these are the top favorite of mine and another are medium and you can make your personal website too using github pages so i will create another videos that how you can create your own blog website through github pages number four is that it will make you happy if you write something okay 
you will get a feedback of course you will get a feedback because these platforms has have a bigger community and many people will read your blogs they will learn something and if they don't then it will be a learning for you and if they do then it will make you happy that yes i taught some someone something new today so it will be a happy day for you get feedback and this is really important if you want to write something more if you want to become a technical writer maybe or if you want to do some internship in writing and in future you will be able to write good technical blogs and you can write some documentation and it may lead to open source contribution in documentation so it really helps number 6 improve your writing skills and your english okay many people are really afraid because their native language is not english but this is a really good way to improve you will get feedbacks you can use grammarly and i have already mentioned in my previous video that is 16 resume tips for students or freshers you can check that video too it's really helpful for many of uh, the people i got really good feedback on that so yeah it makes me happy if your native language is not english that's not a problem you can improve that with your writings and after some months if you continue doing if you continue writing technical blogs then it will be a great success for you because it will be writing it will be your english skills and yeah many of the things will get improved and you will feel much more confident so these were all of the points why you should write a technical blog but how to start okay so many of you will be confused that okay now i know yeah i should write a blog i can think of writing one okay but how should i approach okay what's the first thing that i need to do what topic should i choose what things i need what's the structure of the blog so the number one thing is you need an idea and you have to do research after getting an idea and if you don't know anything don't write the wrong things in technical blog because many people will read that and they may get wrong information about that and it will be not good so always research about that idea and while researching you will get to know more about that topic so yeah another way of great learning and if you don't have any idea what should i write then you can check hash node where people suggest many topics that someone should write a blog on them so i will list uh, the link in the description box of hash node if you don't know what is hash node it's a blogging website and it will be your personal website you don't have to pay anything and on hash node if you write your blog and most reaction blog will get a swag kit okay so all the details will be in the description box and if you write on dev2 platform then also they will provide you some coupon code that you can use to buy their swags something like t-shirt hoodies anything next is the structure of the blog first is obviously introduction must be there that what are you writing about why should we need it in my videos or in my blogs i mainly consider the points that what why and how so three things are really important that what is it why should we learn it and how should we learn it or how can we use it depending on the topic that you are writing next is the body and in the body of the blog tell everything you know and it it can be anything if people don't know 
on the internet or maybe you did some research on that topics then it must it will be a great thing last is the conclusion summarize your blog in the last part maybe in three to four lines it will be enough now i will discuss some ingredients that you need in your technical blog number one is a good title the title should be like eye catchy like it should be like yes i have to read that blog what's it saying why is it different from others like you know some create some spice in the title of the blog number two is find a good topic and you can find a topic on hash note there are many people who want you to write some blogs on the given topic and you can also suggest and if you have something different you are always welcome to write number three is make it easy to understand and it uh, the blogs doesn't need a hi-fi english it can be really normal english that can be understood by every human being okay so this will be really interesting that yes these blogs are simple and easy to understand number four is write in easy language and yeah i already mentioned that it it's not necessary that you write in a like hi-fi english it's not really necessary if your english is like normal you should be able to deliver your content to the audience and they must be able to understand your message that's it that's the whole point of writing a blog use good examples and the examples like it's not necessary the example should be in a technical form you can you know think something different and deliver the content in a really different manner like make a story like it like make a simple story out of the content and write it down it will be really interesting to read that article or blog it's like i am recording the video right now and it's like my audience is sitting right behind the camera and i'm talking to you right now so the blog must be like that like you are you are teaching someone you are like your audience is right now in front of you and yeah it will make your technical blog really better use a good cover photo so uh, there are many pla platforms or websites from where you can download some free photos like unsplash i use this platform unsplash.com there is pexels and many more so these platform provide you free photos and also you can create one if you want uh, through photoshop or any other platform or canva is really good yeah so you can use that so cover photo must be you know different it should be eye catchy if your blog contains some code so use code snippets so that the reader should be able to understand that yes this is a code yeah so it really helps you to like it's a good it will be a good structure for your blog if you write the code snippets and use some in images too follow stepwise strategy like uh, use stepwise like uh, first you have to create this use step one step two step three and so on so it will create a good impact on the reader that yes i'm able to understand many things here think like you are writing this blog for everyone even if it's professional or a fresher or a student they all will be able to understand your blog so it will be a great thing if you write your blogs like this your audience will be much more bigger so it will not be like only for professionals or only for students it will it will be like for all so that was it for today's video and make sure to write your first blog if you got some things if i share my story of my first blog i was 
really afraid of writing my first blog because I thought I have ne never written it before. So how can I do that? Like there are many more people or student that can write much more amazing things than me. Then how can I create one blog? So I thought that I should take a chance and I did and yes and that blog got uh, first prize in a like there was a bloggers week so that blog got first position and I will drop the link of the blog in the description box so yeah so don't be afraid of writing your first blog. Also, there is an interesting thing that my recent blog was for Red Hat. Okay, the official website of Red Hat. So yeah, I will drop the link of that blog too and share with your friends. So that's it for today's video. And there is a subscribe button. Okay. So use that and make sure to like this video and do comment or share your favorite blogs that you wrote or share with your friends that you want that they must write a blog that they should start writing now okay it's never too late but you should start writing